we sort of started the gallery about six years ago. It was really from visiting old industrial buildings in Geelong that were no longer being used. And the idea came to me about starting up an art gallery. Um, so we found this old woolen mill and converted it into a very small gallery with a coffee bar. And since then it's sort of grown quite a bit. Uh, when we first started, we made do with what we had and we sort of started it on a very low budget. But obviously for an art gallery, lighting's really important. Uh, having said that, we really didn't have the budget or you know, we weren't in the position to spend a lot of money, so we improvised and used a combination of halogen lighting and uh, other things I could find. Um, but we soon realised that just wasn't good enough. Um, and as the gallery sort of grown and become more established, we've been in a position where we were able to upgrade the lighting. So I've been really excited to, to fit the LED lighting, firstly in the big gallery, main, our main gallery space, and it made a massive difference right from the very start. A couple of years ago, I contacted Simon from LED World, and it was just great talking to him and talking through our needs with him, and he suggested a certain lighting unit. Seemed really good for us as well, and um, I've used them, but I've sort of customised them a little bit with my own sort of hanging system for them. Yeah, he was very helpful the whole, the whole journey. And since then, um, you know, we've had a few uh, opportunities to deal with him. It's been very exciting to see how the work transforms under good lighting. Uh, and being able to control the environment a little bit more uh, in terms of the lighting and just when we're hanging shows we really notice it because often the works are sitting on the ground and when we lift them to hang them up for an exhibition and once they get under the light it, just the level of colour and detail um, just absolutely jumps out so we think it's been a really good financial move for the gallery as well because I think it shows the work just so much better. But just recently we had the honour of hosting the Igni book launch here in the gallery and having the new series of lights here on the night really added to the night. The actual design of the light itself has been really useful for us here at the gallery. Um, being able to have such a flexible lighting system, to be able to put light where you want it, uh, when you want it, uh, to be able to turn a light around and face it to the ground and light up a floor sculpture, but then be able to maybe get some extra light around a bigger work. Um, being able to use the lights so easily and slide them along the tracks uh, to click one out and put it into a completely different place. It's just been a real asset to the business. A great feature of the series of lights is the fact that you've got actually two different lenses you can click into the end of the light that can give you either a really focused uh, light uh, or like a spotlight. Um, or there's a much broad sweeping sort of uh, floodlight aspect to it as well that sort of lights over a broader area. It just adds to the versatility of the light.